I just got the strangest error alert on this camera. It was like, data not recovered correctly on this memory card. I've never heard anything like that. It was like, execute? If you execute, images on this memory card that have been edited somewhere else may be lost. And I was like, pretty sure everything that I need is off of this card, so execute. I had no other choice. It gave me like a cancel option, and it was like, well, if you cancel, the stuff that you've just filmed may be lost. And I was like, they didn't say it in those words. So I took a risk here and I'm kind of scared. Anyways, hi, welcome back to my channel. If you've been around for a while, welcome back. If you're new here, what's up? Welcome. I'm really happy that you're here. Today I'm doing a Zara haul. It was completely spontaneous. Q and I actually went to the mall, my boyfriend, to go to Zara and Nordstrom to see if I could find a birthday dress because the two birthday outfits, the main one and the backup one, <laughs> are having shipping problems and aren't gonna be here until after my birthday party, which is literally tomorrow night. Damn, I just realized it's tomorrow night and that's so crazy. So I get these emails like, delivery delayed, delivery delayed, and I'm looking at Q and I'm like, I think we have to go to the mall tomorrow morning and just see what we can find. It was a complete bust. I didn't find anything. I have a couple of dresses in my closet that are old, but classic, like timeless, at the end of the day, it's not what I want to wear for my birthday, but it's something. Whatever, who cares? Even though I went to Zara for a birthday dress and didn't find a damn thing, they were having a huge sale and I found a bunch of other things. <laughs> well, I was walking around the store with Q and I'm just looking at them and I'm like, I might have to do a haul because, oh my God. So I got a bunch of pieces I'm really excited to share with you guys. Some timeless pieces that I'm gonna wear again and again. I actually wore one in several outfits. I've already styled everything for you, so I can't wait for you guys to see that. Um, and then on trend pieces, like my new favorite purse from Zara. So freaking cute. Yeah, I've got Brie in the oven. I'm making myself a little charcuterie board. Um, and I'm hungry. So I'm gonna go eat it and let's get into the Zara haul. Mwah. Okay, here is the first thing I got. I freaking love it because it is so soft. This cream ivory crop sweater. It's something that I would dress up like I've done right here or dress down with some yoga pants. My favorite thing about it is how soft it is and then I love the rolled detail right here. It's just so cute. So anyways, I've paired it with a pair of light denim from Mishki. These are my knee-high boots from Express in a full size up. I'll link them for you. They're like 50 bucks, such a steal. These are some gold jewelry pieces from boutiques that I'll list in my description box that I love. And they're all literally from someplace completely different. So this is how I styled this first piece. It was 45 bucks, definitely a keeper, and I'm wearing a size small. The next piece I got is this army green sweater and I kind of like it. I feel like I just got a size too small. I feel like a size small would be better. This is an extra small. It came with a matching set, but I was like, no, I really wouldn't wear the matching set with this thick sweater material. It's thick enough where it feels too hot. Like it feels like there's supposed to be some air circulation in this crop top and I'm just not getting it. So I think I'm going to take this one back and get a size small, not stick with the extra small because it's just tight and hot in here right now. But overall, super cute. I love the v-neck. It is is once again very soft. I feel like Zara has just elevated their sweater material this year and it feels delicious. I love it. Okay, it's giving that girl. It is giving thriving in New York City. I don't even know about this little coat that I've got going on here, but I know about the dress. It's truly one of a kind, at least in my store it was, because it did not come in any other colors. There were same dresses with the same of the same style, like a ribbed long sleeve dress, but the beige one in this was cut differently up top, the black one was cut differently, and then they had this green one, which is cut like this. And I just thought it's so cute. Actually, Quincy is the one who like picked it up off the rack. It was like, if you don't start wearing more dresses like this around me, I was like, okay, fine. So I thought, why not get it, style it, and um, wear it around Quincy, make the man happy. Also, it looks good on me, so I'm happy. Anyways, I've styled it with these boots, just kind of keeping it work friendly here. But I'm thinking about putting on some nude heels with this and dressing this up for a cute little date night out. But I think with a blazer, it's gonna give work chic. And I like it, I love this dress. All right, next purchase is this extra small. I wanted it to be seriously cropped on me. I am five foot two and it's so hard to find things that are actually cropped properly. So this is um, a little leather, faux leather, vegan leather. We love all three of those, <laughs> same thing. Um, puffer from Zara. I have been having my eye on and the second I saw that it was in store and in stock again, I was like immediately yes. I've been dying to recreate this look for the longest. So I just really threw this together. These are also 
what Chelsea boots that I got. They were 70 bucks and there's so many different ways you can style Chelsea boots as you guys know. I really just threw this outfit together with not the intention of this is exactly what I'm gonna wear out but I wanted to see what the vibe was. That is 10 out of 10. Love this purchase. I think it was 60 bucks. Quality is also fantastic. It's so different from a puffer that I got from Amazon recently. This is just thicker material. It's also really soft. The quilted like the um insulation on the inside is thick and plushy. It stays puffy looking and overall holds the quality really really well. As you guys know I also have the puffer jacket from Zara so I had to get the vest. Okay, so this is much more like it. This is what I should have showed you guys the first time. My bad. This leather puffer with the same cropped sweater from Zara and regular old black pair of leggings and then these sneaks that I just got from Steve Martin that I cannot get off of my feet even if I wanted to. I'm seriously obsessed. These are the best sneakers ever and they're just like gold accessories and a baseball cap. This is what I would go run some errands in. So cute. Love it, love it, love it. So I absolutely had to get this when I saw this on sale. Okay, this is my big piece. She is a thick wool pound sooth blazer. Oversized, like it's literally checking off all of my favorite things. I got this thing on sale. It was 120 and I got it for 30. This is a size extra small. It is swallowing me whole and I love it. So I do not have a pair of Chelsea boots at all and I saw these and I was like, ugh, perfect, finally. I need them anyway. So I just put this all together to create this outfit that you've kind of seen probably a million times, but one of those things that's just timeless. So easy, I'm going out and running errands and I need my big oversized wool coat. <laughs> 30 bucks, I could not resist. I'm so happy with this purchase. The last thing I bought is this seashell printed dress. It was on sale for $10 and I could not resist. This is how I styled it. I just put a pair of my absolute favorite pantyhose, sheer text tights. These truly are indestructible. If you do not have a pair and you actually wear pantyhose in the winter time or just pantyhose in general, you need sheer text. It's not even a question anymore. You absolutely need it. If you see me wearing these chandelier earrings, it's because I am obsessed with them. I love how much of a statement they are and I really pair them with anything that I want to dress up. So these are probably my favorite earrings on the planet. Um, and then I got this oversized blazer from Spanx. Yes, Spanx has a lot of clothing. They're not just shapewear, you guys. They have so much more. So I highly encourage you guys to go check them out. My favorite thing about this dress is that it's backless. Let me show you. Here is the dress by itself. It's just a stretchy, thick material, which I really like because it's gonna keep me nice and warm for the rest of the winter months. Um, I love the seashell design. You guys don't know this, but I actually have a tattoo that you cannot see on my wrist. It's in white ink and that's why you can't see it. Ha! I love it, it's just for me though. I love shells, I used to collect them and I don't anymore. I might get back on that, but we'll see. And it fits absolutely great. I was a little daunted because in the store it says extra small, small. And I'm like, mm, extra small, maybe small, medium, more like it. But this fits really well. So if you are in between sizes or wondering if it's going to be stretchy enough, it absolutely is. I almost forgot this. What do you call this? This is not chrome. Metal, literal metal brick of a bag. <laughs> I've been wanting one for the longest because I want the boots that go with it. I know. But I saw this at Zara and I didn't even think about it. I just grabbed it. It's $40, which I feel like Zara has upped their prices for their accessories lately. I don't remember their purses being 40 bucks. I feel like this should really be 20, 25. But it's just a simple little bag. I haven't even taken the wrapping out yet. It's got um, a little flap on the inside right here and it's connected via magnets, but super chic. Definitely different and also stands out, which is my favorite type of accessory. It's something a little bit bold. So I really love it. Uh, yeah. All right, you guys, that was it. Thank you guys so much for joining me on the Zara haul. Let me know what pieces you liked. I think my absolute favorite is truly that wool coat. Like it just eats me alive, swallows me whole, and didn't take me out to dinner first, that's fine. But I think I would wear that, I mean, I know I'm gonna wear it again and again and again. So I'm really excited about it, plus it's 30 bucks. Like, are you kidding? Anyways, let me know what pieces are your favorite and I will see you guys in the next video. Mwah, mwah, mwah. I love you.